All right, this is a question that comes up a lot. Um, do you have to tongue block? Do you need to tongue block? Um, well, I'm going to say no, you don't. You don't have to. Um, a lot of people out there will tell you that you do and that you, you're not. Um, they'll make you feel like less of a, of a musician, less of a harmonica player if you don't tongue block. Um, and that's just not the case. I mean, it depends. Uh, it, it's all down to your own personal style, your own personal sound. Um, there's plenty of great harmonica players who don't tongue block. Um, you know, uh, I, I think Jason Ritchie doesn't. Uh, Sonny Terry, I believe, never tongue blocked. Um, who else? Um, I was speaking to Tom Ball a little while ago. Great hard play, he doesn't tongue block at all. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good thing to learn. Um, I, I still suggest that you learn how to do it. Um, you'll probably find a, a use for it uh, at one time or another. But you don't have to play tongue blocks all the time. So, you know, w one argument for it is that you get a better tone, right? Um, and the reason for that is because the harp is further into your mouth, so you get a slightly warmer tone. Uh, when you pucker, the harp is right at the front of your mouth. When you tongue block, it's pushed right back in. Is that a better tone? I don't know. It depends what, what you think better is. You know, it's down to opinion. Um, puckered is slightly brighter, tongue blocked to me sounds slightly duller, but maybe a little bit warmer. Um, it depends what you want. If you want to sound just like Sunny Boy or just like Little Walter, then you're probably going to want to play tongue blocks because that's what they did. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that everybody has to play like that. Um, <laughs> Some of the advantages of not tongue blocking are, uh, I find it, you can get around. You can get around the harp a lot quicker. Um, I know I couldn't play like that if I was playing that or tongue blocked. Um, you know, you can, there's certain other sounds associated with the tongue block technique. Um, that, that kind of vamping shuffle sound that I've talked about in a few videos before. Um, but again, there are ways of recreating that sound without actually tongue blocking. I did a video on that, I put a link to it up here. So, that's my opinion on that. Um, learn to do it, learn to play both ways, puckered and tongue blocking. See what works best for you, but don't feel like if you're having a really, you know, if you play better puckered, then play puckered. Don't don't um, force yourself to play tongue block because some guy told you that that's the right way to do it, and you're not a proper blues harmonica player unless you play tongue blocks. That's just stupid. Um, do what you want. If it sounds good, do it. That's what I say. See you next week.